Welcome, my name is Benedict, I'm from Azapio and today I will show you how we send messages from an SAP system here on the left hand side to a Confluent broker here on the right hand side. And for that I'm going to SPRO IMG and here I have the Azapio integration add-on that's installed here on the SAP system as an add-on and I will go now to the configuration and here I have my connection pointing to Confluent and you see that we have here an RFC destination that was created in transaction SM59 and here inside the outbound objects I will now create an interface for material change because I want to send material changes here on that topic to Confluent. <coughs> I will add here some function models that are pre-delivered and we have to create a message type that's a standard ALE message type for that I'm going to transaction WE81 <coughs> and I have here the message type going to save this and then we activate the change pointers in BD50 And then we can insert it here inside the message type field. We activate the trace and also we add here a formatting function that is building the JSON together. And here in the last two fields we can add a payload design. And for that I'm going to transaction other dev design. And that is where we can say which tables and which fields we want to add to the payload so inside which we want to dis have displayed inside the JSON that we're sending to Confluent. It's my first version here and you see we have here some describing fields in the upper part and below that we can see the tables which is now empty because I have to add some tables here and also the fields. So we're going here to that button, the join builder, and then I can insert here a table that is the Mara table. And I also want to have data from MARC. And the payload designer here immediately connects these two tables. And I can say if I want to have an inner join or a left outer join here. And after that, you will see we have now the tables here inside the tables section and also the fields available. And I can add here more fields of the Mara table if I just double click on that. And I can choose here a couple of fields and it will insert them then here inside the field section. You can also do that for MARC. And um, here you see now all the fields that we will have inside the JSON. And I can also rename them here. So I don't want to have that displayed as Mendity. I want to have that here as client and also the Mara table. I can rename that directly here to Mara header. And I will save this and then we can add this to our configuration. I choose the version that I just created and inside the event linkage to go to the change mode and then I can add my BO object here. That is the bus 1001 and we want to trigger every time a material changes here and we activate the type linkage. So then in the head attributes I can say where we should send that so the topic on Confluent and you see it on the right side I will copy it from here into the value and the framework will then send the messages to that topic. So now we're all set with these configurations and I will do now a real change in MM02 on a material for that I'm going to additional data and it's of measure on them. And here I will change the 10 to a 12 and as soon as I hit save the event is being raised here inside the SAP system and the messages then sent to that topic. You see now we have a couple 
of interfaces pointing to that here, not just my single one. That's why we have now three entries. And um, we also have a monitoring application here on SAP side. That's the, the other dev um, ACI monitor. <coughs> going to pick my instance and then you see here the material change. You see that we have a cloud response of 200. You can also see the bytes here. And in the lower section you see on the left side the request and on the right side the response. So that's what we received back here from Confluent. And you also see here the message was sent to an offset of 558 at the end and that is the message that we are seeing here. There's also the message. So we have the Mara header. That's what we changed uh, from Mara to Mara header, the table name. And we see it's in its hierarchy here. So MARC tables below MARA. And uh, on the left side, you see the post. So we see the topic where it was sent to. And we also see the JSON here again. Next to the trace, we have an application log available. So that's the SLG1 log. OK, so that's the outbound part. And uh, we can also pull messages back into the SAP system. For that, I'm going to transaction ACI. And then I've already done a configuration for an inbound object. So here we have the section download from cloud. and. We'll double click on that and then if I execute, then it will pull a message from a topic here on Confluent. So here we have now the IDOC available and I can also see that inside the monitor. So now that is my inbound message and from here I can jump directly to the IDOC. And you see now the data is inside the segments. And also, if I jump to the relationships, uh, then I can jump to the sales order directly here. So the sales order was here created. Um, so just to wrap it up, we saw that outbound configuration. And we did send a message successfully to Confluent and also received one back by pulling it from another topic. Thanks for watching. I hope to, to see you soon. Bye.